What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add subtitle using Filmora 9. Actually, I published another tutorial about adding subtitle in Filmora 9 about 9 months ago. But uh, today, I'm going to uh, make another tutorial on this subject because I think the quality of, the, of that tutorial is not very good. It's very difficult for you to follow the step. So let's jump into the software. So I will use my short intro to add a subtitle to this video. Okay. Uh, right now I'm inside Filmora 9. So I will drop a, a clip, a short intro of my uh, my intro clip into the timeline so it take uh, just drag and drop it it's very easy right so uh, here we have the video match to media so it's okay so this is a video of me what's up guys welcome to my channel in today's video I'm okay so that is a video of me talking on the, in front of the camera so uh, let's go ahead so let's explain a little bit here's uh, subtitle it's just just text so in Filmora everything including subtitle your title and credit uh, lower third uh, all kind of that uh, that text are inside the title tab at the navigation toolbar so here is the title so go to title and now you have uh, included folder and film stock folder so there are two folder here so at the included folder here you have custom custom is what you save uh, save as custom and you can uh, use in your next project after you close this project you can still use it in another project and open now open now is uh, also another title but it is included text and animated uh, shape and background so uh, easy use for opener and closing the video okay uh, it's just also the same you can also use opener to uh, use for your subtitle but uh, we don't do that in the title tab then you have a bunch of title here right all this title you can also use this title these templates as a subtitle for your video it's okay but uh, here we have subtitle we go to subtitle now we have uh, 15 15 uh, 15 different uh, template uh, subtitle template in Filmora 9 so we can select any of them okay right right now here any of them just uh, drag and drop them onto the timeline and it's uh, okay for you to use in your video let's uh, select the first subtitle title number one and you drag it and drop it on the, onto the timeline so here we see that uh, we have a waveform here and also my video has a waveform sorry it's so hard uh, my video has a waveform so uh, i need i think uh, I, I need to make the waveform uh, bigger let's go to the track manager here right right click on that and we can adjust the track high to uh, big if we want oh so big sorry just, i think it's uh it should be uh, normal normal okay normal is okay now uh, this is the, the subtitle box and uh, this is the box when you double double click on that and here you have the uh, basic text editor so it's similar to, to adding text in Filmora and you can also click uh, directly on the uh, on the preview window to uh, modify the text for example I, I will say that hello everyone here welcome to my channel right so this is the just text and a background so the background is under the text uh, so we can also uh, modify the text uh, for example the text color if we want to change it to a different color right uh, it is easy okay right and also we uh, we can change the a preset for your text uh, right here so similar so many uh, many different type for example this type no um, okay how about this and this so okay so so many things here to choose okay text style uh, I can go ahead to this one okay so go back to uh, normal I can I, I can also change the size here is the size and forms of the, the of the subtitle okay and a different different type okay let's choose uh, one arrow area okay uh, this this is should be okay for me 
and I will increase a little bit the size to 36 yeah that's big right and now we have text inside uh, and also a box outside the text so it is uh, it's players as a container so container for the text uh, it is a background uh, so you can change the background uh, color to uh, black or pink or, or whatever you want uh, red or green or anything okay and you can also recite recite directly here at the at the review uh, windows but uh, we can also do uh, some more uh, inside inside the advanced uh, text editor of um, uh, Fimora 9 so we click on advanced and uh, before doing that I can uh, just play around uh, with the uh, with my voice uh, on the timeline so I, right now I'm using a, a, um, a lap mic to my um, my shirt so attached to my shirt so I cannot hear the voice inside the inside the program so maybe I, I just uh, leave it here uh, but in case you can uh, trim, shorten the duration of the uh, the subtitle box uh, right here, or extend the duration of the subtitle right here. Okay. And now some other other option here is take color, text by line space alignment and rotate scale position, uh, compositing. So we don't touch that, but we can go to advanced and advanced. Click here, or you can uh, right click on the on the subtitle box uh, on the timeline. Right click and select advanced edit. You go to advanced ed edit now. Okay. So it's similar to, to the text editor inside uh, Fimora. So we have text uh, in front and also the background. So we, uh, we, need, uh, we need to select it first and then we go to customize. And now we have um, other option here. Change the, the content of the text. Uh, text field. Also opacity and blur, you, know, you can see like uh, like this. You see it on the preview preview window, right? If I increase the blur, then uh, it become uh, blur. And text border. If I want uh, to have a border around my text, uh, I click here. For example, I change change the color to a uh, pink. Okay, change to pink, and that's okay. But the size too big, I can change it. Change the size. Uh, make it three is okay okay I think this should be fine okay and now we, we go to the text shadow if, if I want to, to add shadow I can uh, select uh, check this box otherwise I can uncheck it I don't need a shadow but uh, down below you have the sharp view sharp view with the sharp be uh, uh, below your text so it's placed as the background so you can change the size and the color so what I, I mentioned about change, uh, changing this color is right here so this uh, color is black, but now we can change it to uh, uh, red or, or whatever you, you want. Many kind, many different kind. Green, okay. And adjust the opacity, opacity of the background, right. And you you can also add a sharp border, add a sharp border right here. So we uh, want to have white and blur, and we can increase the size, right. So and we can also click on here to move it around the screen. Normally the subtitle is put uh, is putting here, but actually we can move it any anywhere. So it's just text, nothing more, just text. By the way, if you want to create your own template, if you are happy with this uh, subtitle, then you save it as custom. And next time, next time you can use this uh, this template uh, on your own uh, on other project. It's okay. And for example, if if I, I'm happy with this, but I look, I think it's look ugly. But uh, we can uh, let's delete the shape. I don't want the shape. Okay, so I just uh, want uh, my text uh, right here. And the other thing is the animation. Normally, you you have subtitle and no anima animation, but you can add animation effect in uh, here. Uh, typewriting. Or you can uh, uh, find fade fade one and fade two. Yes, fade fade two. Okay, uh, like this. What's up, guy? Hi. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone. Oh. Welcome to my Thank channel. You. Or you can select no animation if you want. Okay, right here, no animation. Right. What's up, guy? Okay, so uh, if you're happy with the customization, uh, including uh, all the character spacing and or other thing here 
in size uh, and incre increase the size to 44 and click OK you go back to the timeline now okay so supposing that you have the first uh, subtitle right and you want to have another subtitle select it copy and go to the next uh, conversation and paste how to add okay and now you can just double click and change the, the name uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how to add subtitle right okay show you uh, mean here you and you press enter and you want to increase this a little bit the bigger side right it is easy, right you can do the same with other other on the timeline so that's uh, how you can speed up your process using uh, adding subtitle in your video using Filmora 9 but actually we can uh, you can also create your own subtitle template so right click on that go to advanced edit again and now I don't want this type uh, I don't want this tag and I don't want this trap I can delete it sorry I can uh, select it first and now I can, uh, hit delete okay now uh, I will use the, this T button add text box or add shape as shape okay I want to use select this one right right here so that is the my subtitle and say hello this is my subtitle okay so I gonna increase this and change the forms uh, I want to have uh, right blue and the color black oh no i think uh, white white is the best and uh brown is uh, black is the best and also change the size so uh, yeah this one okay if I happy with this, I save as custom. Yes, my subtitle. Okay, and click OK. Okay, that's it. Easy, right? So click OK to go back to the timeline. Click OK. Now if I uh, delete all this one, and uh, again I go to uh, title, go to custom. Here is my subtitle. So, okay, add this to the timeline, onto the timeline and okay i can drag and drop this one onto the timeline and double click and change the text so that's that's easy right okay so uh i that's all about uh, this tutorial i i hope everything is clear enough for you to to understand uh understand the tutorial uh thank you very much for watching if you have any question let me know at the comment section below if you want to yeah, learn more about Primora, consider to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.